Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial where I try to cover a Photoshop tip of some sort in about 30 seconds, but it doesn't usually, it's usually a little bit longer than 30 seconds. Today we're going to talk about the eyedropper tool. Now you can find the eyedropper tool right over here. We're going to talk about the eyedropper and the color sampler tool. 3D material eyedropper tool basically allows you to select or sample, I should say, textures off of various sides or layers of 3D material and copy it to other pieces of 3D material or even load new textures altogether. Um, we're going to focus on the eyedropper and the color sampler tool. I think these are going to be the ones that you use the most. So basically the eyedropper tool, you click on some part of your image and you sample that color and it loads that color as uh, your foreground color. You can see there in Photoshop. Now if you hold down the Alt or Option key and you select a color, it loads that color as your background color. You can see it's the very dark green. If you hold down the Shift key, you can place what's called a color sample point, which displays color information about that exact point in your image over here in the info panel in terms of R, G, and B, 97, 80, and 70 R, G. You can also hit the little drop down menu here and change that to grayscale, web color, hue saturation, brightness, CMYK, or lab color. All kinds of different information you can get uh, very, very easily right here. You can add uh, multiple points. Oh, let me hold down my shift key. And then you can compare all of those points. You can see point one, two, three. If you hold down the command or control key, you can grab a point and drag it off of the document to delete it. Now, you can go to the color sample tool straight up and just hit the clear all option and get rid of all of the points that you had loaded. One of the other things you can do, well, I'll get to that here. Over in the eyedropper tool, you can change the sample size from point sample to like a 3x3 three three up to 101 average. What this means is point, uh, well, point sample right there selects the actual color of the specific pixel that you have hovered over or have clicked on, really. All right, But the 101 average, something like this, it grabs 101 pixels around where you've clicked and averages out that color to give you the average color of that 101 pixels. One of the other really cool things you can do is right click with uh, the, the sample tool, with the eyedropper tool, like let's say I love this green here, I can right click and actually copy that color, uh, the HTML code for that, that HTML parameter, or I can copy the hex code, which is what you would use in HTML or CSS, or really in any kind of online editor or building tool that you're using. So if I absolutely love that green color, I can just right click like right there and go boom, copy that color's hex code, and then if I were to paste, it's just copied into my computer's clipboard as that string of numbers. Another really neat thing is hitting the caps lock key. It gives you sort of this precision crosshair target, right? And it selects that exact little bit. You can, uh, obviously, it's going to still respect your 101 average all the way down to point sample, depending on what you've chosen. So just switching your caps lock key on is not going to make, for instance, like 101 average uh, a point sample all of a sudden. It's still going to respect the 101 average. You can also choose to sample just the current layer, current and below, all layers, all layers but avoid adjustment layers, or current and below also ignoring the adjustment layer. So a lot of different options with um, the eyedropper tool. One of the other cool things you can do is if you hold down Command Option Shift, that'd be Control Alt Shift on the PC, and you right click, you can get this really neat um, heads up display from which you can sample color as well. So I can choose sort of the hue of the color, and then choose brightness and saturation of the color, and then boom, that color is set to my foreground color. You can edit the way that heads up display color picker appears over in your preferences by hitting Command K or Control K, and right here, HUD or heads up display color picker. I've got the hue medium, uh, the hue wheel medium is what I'm using. So that's the eyedropper tool. A lot of different stuff you can do. I didn't even really cover everything, but that's like 98% of it. The eyedropper tool in Photoshop. That's it. Get it. Got it. Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.